Okay, so it's just a little nod to Christmas, me putting, putting on a Christmas jumper. This is Stitch. I don't know if you can see their Stitch saying Merry Christmas because this video is going to go live on Christmas Eve. Hello. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to talk to you about this brand or this range from Superdrug. Um, I am giving you my honest opinion today about the Superdrug B range. This range has been around for a really long time, but I realise that it's had a complete revamp, uh, a complete refresh, it's been overhauled. I'm not entirely familiar with all of the range, the previous range, um, but I, I'm, I do think, if I can get my words out, I do think that there are a lot of products now in, included in this range that weren't there before. And I have got a selection which I have been trying out for the past month and I want to share with you my honest opinion about this collection. I, before I started, I taped a short clip um, just talking about um, the ones that I was going to try out, the products I was going to try out. So let's play that. So let me just quickly explain the products that I'm going to be trying out and testing in today's video. Um, this is a Superdrug own brand. It's their B range, but it's been completely uh, relaunched. And um, yeah, the packaging is different. Uh, yeah, and I'm just really, really excited to, to give this a go. So let me just explain to you the products that I'm going to be um, using with this um, tried and tested. So first off, I've got a cleanse product, which is the Creamy Foaming Cleanser. And also I got a Melting Cleansing Balm. And I, you know, I love cleansers, so I wanted to have both of the, the cleansers that they had. I think there's one more, uh, which I didn't, uh, I didn't order, but... Um, yeah, I've got two. Then I got um, two serums, um, and there are more serums in the range, I just got two. Um, this one is the Intense Hydrating Serum, and this one is the Balancing Serum for oil control. I got three different moisturizers, see how I work with those. One is a moisturizing gel, which says that it's got four types of hyaluronic acid in it. Who knew there, were more, there was more than one type? Uh, I didn't. Um, okay, and what I liked about this one is it's a perfect base for makeup. So I like the sound of that one. Then um, I got a day cream with SPF 30 and I got a night cream as well from their age to fine, the purple ones, the age to fine ones. Also got an eye cream from the same age to fine smoothing eye cream. And then two more products, which I would call additional attention. One is a enzyme facial scrub. And I'm very interested to hear about the whole enzyme thing because obviously I use enzymes um, in my laundry. With my laundry, I have um, I have non-biological as well, but I have biological um, laundry capsules, which I really, really like from Small. That's a whole another video. I must, must film that video. But anyway, um, yeah, this one's got pumpkin enzyme in it. So I'm going to be interesting to, interested to see how enzymes work on my skin, not just my clothes. And then the final product that I'm going to be trying out is the glycolic exfoliating mask. So yeah, I will be back once I've tried these out and I'll let you know how I found them. So see you later. Really just want to get into it today. So I'm going to start off um, talking about the two cleansers that I tried. Um, apologies if I squint a little bit. The, the light is just crazy today. Uh, the sun keeps on coming in and out and it was raining a few minutes ago. I thought it was going to be really grey, but now I've got like loads of daylight. So maybe I should have worn shades. I don't know. Anyway, um, let me talk to you about the, the two cleansers. Um, the first one that I tried is this creamy foaming cleanser. I really am not a fan of um, foaming cleansers, at least the ones that I've tried in the past. But I was really, really um, impressed with this. It is not drying at all. It, I just stick it in the shower. It's really easy to use. You just 
apply it to um, a damp face. It's got salicylic acid in it, which is fantastic for kind of like mild exfoliation. And it's also got panthenol in it, and it's for all skin types. Just to point, this whole range, um, I believe, I haven't checked all of the packaging, but it's cruelty free, it's vegan friendly, it's suitable for vegans. The plastic casing, some of it has been recycled. Um, so yeah, really, um, some of the ingredients are sustainable. So for example, the palm oil is coming from a sustainable source. So yeah, it, it's, it appears to have good credentials. And in terms of the effectiveness of this product, I really didn't find it to be drying. I liked that it was smoothing as well. And I would definitely recommend this. Um, because the range that I'm going to flip to now uh, as my next video does not have, um, or not necessarily my next published video, but the next tried and tested that I'm going to go for, doesn't have any cleansing products in it. Uh, I'm going to keep this in my routine because I really like this. And I really also, and by the way, I much preferred it to the CeraVe one and um the SA, I think it's called the SA cleanser or the SA smoothing cleanser. And I also um, uh, preferred it to the two cleansers that I used from the Superdrug Me Plus range. And I'll link the video where I try and test that range um, up here. Um, overall, I really do like that range. But now that I've got this direct comparison, I prefer this foaming cleanser. Um, I also tried out this melting cleansing balm okay and again i think this one is for all skin types maybe it, was, it had a box i can't remember basically this for me is a dupe of take the day off by um clinique um which i tried out last year and wasn't actually that impressed by given the price tag but you know all of this range is super super inexpensive particularly if you buy it like i did when everything was buy one get one half price or buy one get one free so really i, I got so many products for really small amount of kachinga so i was really uh really pleased about that this is fantastic i mean what more do you want from a bomb it doesn't really smell strong it melts down really fast it definitely gets rid of all makeup and yuckiness on your skin i remove it with a a, a warm uh, muslin cloth or a microfiber a wet mic microfiber cloth love it sorry <laughs> got some on my hands i'm trying to get it off but really really love this and again i'm going to keep this in my routine for now because the next um range doesn't have any cleansing products in it um okay i also bought the enzyme facial scrub which i was really curious about because um, I thought, oh, enzymes, that must be what, you know, is making the skin smooth. But this actually does have pumpkin enzyme in it, but also apricot shell powder. So it's got a physical exfoliant in it as well. Um, yeah, I like this. Um, I think I'm going to keep this too because, again, the range that I'm going on to is really more about moisturising rather than um, cleansing and exfoliating, what have you. So I'm going to keep this. Um, there's loads left still um, and I've only been using it like once a week or so because I have other kind of exfoliants in my rotation and I don't want um, you know I don't want to over exfoliate my skin so I definitely don't exfoliate every day it's normally every two days two three days so this was one of them that I used the other one which oh my god is holy grail I mean I I'm so impressed by this is this one here. I wasn't actually going to talk about it now, but I'm, now I'm in it. I'm, I'm going to go for it. And my hair's going crazy again. Ah, God, why is it in my hair? Right, this is the Glycolic Exfoliating Mask. And it's got glycolic and lactic, lactic acid in it, which are both fab fabulous ingredients for exfoliation. Again, this is for all skin types. You apply this to dry skin. You leave it on for a couple of minutes. Yeah, two to three minutes. And then you just wash it off with a muslin cloth. Oh my god, this is amazing. You know, I've been trying the ordinary um I can't remember what it's called peeling solution or something like that, um, which I really like. Um, but you know, it's 10 minutes of looking awful. <laughs> I'll link the video up here if you haven't seen how awful I look with it on. This, I mean, this is so much easier, you know, two to three minutes, skin feels amazing afterwards, really smooth. 
yeah love it love it love it this is holy grail did i say it was holy grail it's holy grail for me so i'm also going to keep this in my repertoire because as i said no cleansing stuff going on um right two serums i tried um i tried the hydrate um serum intense hydrating serum uh with a pump for dry skin um but you know what i think this would work fine for all types of skin this is fabulous it really really does feel hydrating it's not tacky um yeah i really was impressed by this and it's particularly considering the price point it's got hyaluronic and polyglutamic acid in it which are both known for being plumping uh yeah so really like this serum and i also really like this one which is their balancing serum now i'm really sorry i had meant to watch a video from i think it's from oh, what's she called flashy at 40 or something no maybe it wasn't her another another youtuber has done a video about zinc and it being dangerous i don't know if that was just the clickbait thumbnail that i saw uh, and it isn't actually dangerous but i do notice that zinc is in prevalent in quite a lot of skincare products obviously i don't want to use it if it's uh, unsafe i haven't haven't thought to watch that video before taping this but this is zinc and niacinamide and again not tacky really nice to apply um did i notice like a miracle with happening with the blackheads um if you know me that's been my life or one of the things <laughs> of my life uh no i didn't but you know what i think i prefer using this to all the other niacinamide um serums that i've used in the past so i'm i'm thinking particularly of the Superdrug Me Plus one and also the Inkless one. Um, and given the price point, I think if you've not tried niacinamide before um, and zinc isn't dangerous, let we just better check that. Um, this is a really, really good one to try out um, to see if it works for you, if it helps. It's also supposed to, I think it's also supposed to help with hyperpigmentation a bit. Mine has, has gone down quite a lot. Um, it's up here that I've got it. Um, but it, that might just be because we're kind of in the winter months now um, and that generally is what happens it goes down in the winter and then it flares back up again in the summer anyway I was impressed by both of the serums another holy grail product for you I I mean this yeah I was so curious when I bought it and I'm just so pleased that I included it in the products that I tried this is the moisturizing gel cream this has got four types of hyaluronic acid I think I said before, I didn't even know there were four types. I didn't know there were four types. Um, it says ultra lightweight hydration. So love this. Love, love, love this. It is very lightweight. It's not tacky. I actually think it says it's it's okay for oily skin. I haven't really got oily, oily skin. I've got more kind of combination. This definitely would be fine for dry skin too. Um, I use it like I use a serum. So um, I've, what I've been doing is layering. I've been putting on one of these two and then this on top, um, and which I really feel is necessary, you know, with the harsh weather that we've been having. It's been so cold. I, yeah, I just really, really, holy grail already, you know, and I've, I'm not even halfway through. I mean, but some of these products in this range are so good. They are so good. I really... You know, chapeau, hats off to the team that have put this this range together. Really, really impressed. Um, I haven't done enough testing of this directly under foundation because what I typically do, I cleanse, put the serum, put this on top. Then I go in with the day cream, um, which is here. It's got SPF 30. And then I've been putting foundation on top of that, sometimes with a, um, what I want to say, a primer in between today i put a primer in um so that i think that's a nice segue to the day cream but i'm not sure this might be i don't know if this directly this would bobble um makeup uh i haven't really tried that one out i don't see why it would though because it's really lightweight um and it doesn't really leave a, a heavy residue okay the day cream really great it's got spf 30 like it um Oh yeah, it's a bit, oh yuck, it's a bit annoying, uh, the tub. <laughs> I don't, you know what, with packaging, I feel like I've become so finickety and like exacting, it's crazy. But 
so far so good on on the packaging but with the creams the two the day cream and the night cream i don't know i just didn't get on with the putting the lid back on but maybe that's just me maybe i'm my dexterity is going you can see that after a month's use i've barely touched the sides on this like it's there's so much stuff so much cream in here i think you'd have to be careful that you definitely used it up in a year um oh yeah i opened it because i wanted to i wanted to yeah, it has got a slight fragrance. I mean, if you're looking for fragrance-free, this is not the range for you. There, There is a fragrance in there. It's kind of like a sweet smell. Um, but I, I don't find it off-putting. A uh, sweet, fresh smell, I would say. It's not like really cloying or anything. Um, I love the fact that it's got an SPF. It does have a little bit of a um, cast on it. Um, but it does sink in fairly quickly. It's not as fast as the other things, like the moisturising gel cream. But... Um, but you know, it's got a sunscreen in it, so it's got to have some kind of a protection layer, I guess. Um, I like this, but I'm not going to, get. I, you know, I like it. Um, I think it's, you know, it, it does, I don't know if this is for all skin types, age to fine. This is for aging skin. Um, but you know, this is not the best day cream that I've ever used, but it's certainly by a long way, not the worst. So you know, if you like to have everything from the same range, like I have now found that I do, <laughs> then, you know, if you're buying the rest of the routine, you may as well chuck in the, the, the day cream. I, I think it's, it's fine. You know, it does feel like it's nourishing. Much prefer the night cream though. And I imagine that's because it doesn't have the sunscreen in it. And sunscreen is what makes the consistency a bit strange. Um, yeah, I've used a bit more of this up. I don't know why, if it's just that because I like it more. Yeah, it's very mildly fragrant. It's not it's not strong at all. Um this is very reminiscent to me of another Superdrug product which I don't actually have right here. This is I'm filming this on my bed and I've got it by my bed. And that's the Naturally Radiant Glow um soothing face cream which I just yeah, this is definitely holy grail for me. Um yeah, so I I like this um and I I think it's fine. Um, it's not Holy Grail though. Um, I think there are better night creams out there, but they're, you know, I'm thinking of the Marks and Spencer one, but yeah, it's got a, a much heftier price tag. But um, yeah, this this um, this was fine and it, it feels really nice on, it feels really nourishing on. Okay, the final product um, that I want to talk to you about is probably the one that has least impressed me of everything. And that is the smoothing eye cream, um, again from the age define um, bit of the range. Um, I like that it's in a pot, that I, I find really nice, but the consistency, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, it's very, it, it's quite solid. And so let me just put some on my hand and it, oh, well, it's sunk in really fast here, but when I put it on, no, it hasn't. I don't know if you can see. There's a bit left on the on the hand. Um, it takes a while to sink in, and I find sometimes, and I don't know if I've got one today, but I'll let, I'll come a bit closer and see. I find sometimes, depending on the eye cream that I'm using, I get little bubbles. Um, I guess they're milia, but they come and they go more easily. I did have one up here. I don't know if it's gone now. Uh, yeah I maybe it's got oh here it is there there um and I think it's caused by the eye cream because the fact that when I it came when I switched to it from the previous eye cream and we'll see if it goes when I switch to another eye cream um so yeah I would say this is my the least impressive product that I've tried I think it's it's clogging pores um and it's it doesn't sink in as as quickly as I want my eye cream to. But not bad considering how many products I tried. Overall, I am really impressed by this range. And as I've said, you know, oh, crazy. I will, <laughs> maybe I should just like, yeah, maybe that's better, right? Um, as I have said, I'm definitely gonna keep some of these items in for the next month because the range that I'm gonna be trying out doesn't have those elements and I wanna continue to have a, a full skincare routine. Um, I love the fact that it has got so many different um, items within the range. I love that it's inexpensive. I love that it, it looks like it's uh, ingredient led. Um, and I, 
I feel that some of the products are quite innovative, like the um, gel cream and the uh, mask that you know you leave on for two to three minutes. So I really am impressed by this range. Um, to be honest, it's going to be a bit of a wrench to switch away from it, but you know I've got another range that I'm going to be trying out. So you know, got it, got to I've got to keep it going, got to keep it going. I would be really curious to know if you have tied out any of the new um, newly launched products from this Superdrug B range. Um, if you have, please let me know. Um, it'd be great to hear from you in the comments. Um, also, just to say, I didn't say it before, you can find me on Instagram, you can find me on Pinterest, you can find me on Facebook. I've got an Etsy shop where amongst many different things, I sell curated listings of um, skincare products so you can get a, a refresh on your skincare routine with the recommendations that I that I make for you uh, based on what your skincare concern is what your skin type your budget is and all those lovely factors so if you've not checked out my Etsy store then please uh, go ahead and go over to selfcare.etsy.com and um, what else can I say to you apart from the fact that it has been lovely having you here um, yeah, I've now, you know, almost completed um, the whole of 2021 with uh, doing videos every um, twice a week, um, normally a beauty one on a Friday. Um, and I really, really do just want to wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. I hope that you have a wonderful time and that all your Christmas wishes come true. And I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Please remember that you are in perfect time. Take care.